charging process started. Let's juice up and conquer the digital world. I'm plugged in and I feel positively electrified. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will share with you a game-changing feature that will significantly extend your iPhone's battery life and it's called the Ultra Low Power Mode Shortcut. It does exactly what its name says. It's a way better version of iOS Low Power Mode. My shortcut heavily reduces the power consumption of your iPhone. It's like putting your iPhone on a digital energy saving diet. When your battery hits a critical level, the Ultra Low Power Mode steps in to optimize performance for essential tasks while conserving precious power. It can extend your battery life up to 40%. When you will run the Ultra Low Power Mode shortcut for the first time, you will see your current battery percentage and three additional options – ON, ON plus NETWORK, OFF. The first option, ON, should be used only in emergencies, as it will disable the network. This is the most power-efficient mode, let's say. It turns off the most power-consuming features such as cellular network, 5G, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It reduces GPU and CPU workload by removing system animations and transparency. It also lowers the screen brightness and reduces the white point level, so your screen will be consuming the minimum amount of power just enough to simply display the information. It also reduces location services usage and turns off the always on display on the Pro models. Lastly, the ultra low power mode turns off the background app refresh and iCloud syncing. These are a true nightmare for your iPhone battery. The second option, on plus network, should be used if you want to extend the battery life on your iPhone while still using the network and being able to use internet while disabling the most power demanding options. Basically, this is the same ultra low power mode, but it allows you to stay connected by keeping the cellular data and Wi-Fi enabled. I use this option when I know that I need to survive the whole day without the possibility of recharging my iPhone. This shortcut is a true lifesaver. And the last option is off. Obviously, it turns off the ultra low power mode when you no longer need it. Your iPhone will go back to a normal mode with animations, network, background app refresh and so on. Of course, you can turn off all these settings manually, but it will take you at least several minutes to go through settings and it's quite annoying. By using my shortcut, you can enable the ultra low power mode in just a few seconds. From my experience on my iPhone, I was able to get up to 40% more better life while using the ultra low power mode shortcut. How to install this shortcut? It's very simple. Just use the iCloud link provided in the description of this video. Click on it and install the Ultra Low Power Mode shortcut on your device. Then simply run it from your shortcuts library. Bonus tip! You can add the Ultra Low Power Mode to the home screen and run it like any other app on your iPhone, allowing you to save even more time. Long press on the shortcut and add it to the home screen. Now you can run it without opening the Shortcuts app. But that's not all. You can set up custom automation and your iPhone will run the ultra low power mode automatically when the battery charge falls below a certain level, for example 50%. To do that, go to the Shortcuts app and tap on the Automation tab. Tap on the little plus icon to create new automation. Scroll down and select Battery Level. Adjust the percentage for example, falls below 50%. Make sure to select the option Run immediately, it means without confirmation from your side. Next, look for the ultra low power mode shortcut. And voila, you just created your automation. Open it and make sure to check the option Notify when run. Now your iPhone will immediately run the ultra low power mode once its battery charge falls below 50%. Guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and activate notifications for all my future videos, I would really appreciate your support. If you want to discover even more interesting and useful shortcuts for your iPhone, check out my other videos on that topic. Thanks again for watching, see you!